about the development of my work uh, throughout the years and then also my experience in China. Um, this, this show is called In Full Bloom. And you, you probably have noticed from looking at the work that there are floral patterns all over uh, all of my pots. And I'm very interested in this concept of aesthetic alchemy. So you guys might know that word alchemy, um, which was the medieval belief that you could turn lead into gold or that you could turn a base metal into gold. And it was sort of a quasi-spiritual thing, you know, that you could take something that was worthless and through a transformative experience that it could then become valuable. And when I think of aesthetic alchemy, what I'm thinking about is how you transform an object by covering it with power symbols or culturally relevant symbols. Um, I was born and raised in, in Roanoke, Virginia, which is in the southwest corner of Virginia. And dogwoods are the state flower. Uh, and you'll see those scattered all over the pots. Um, they really come to represent my home and, and a sense of, of, um, of place for me. I've lived in China for the last two and a half years and I've, I've taught in New Zealand and Australia and vacationed a, a little bit everywhere. Um, and as I traveled around, one of the things that I saw uh, were, were regional styles. So for instance, um, the clay that this is made out of is called Yixing clay. And Yixing is a city that has a very interesting teapot tradition where they're all handmade, hand carved. And Yixing is only local to this specific part of China. So as I went to places all over China, I started to think, well, what's the regional aesthetic for Virginia? You know, what is the thing that tells people that I'm from this place? Uh, and so when I was in China, I started to think very drastically about how do I make a pot that tells people who I am without them meeting me. 